Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Lucknow and he has inaugurated the Uttar Pradesh Global Investor Summit 2023. Uh, uh, Mr. Ambani, Aditya Birla were all there among the big businessmen who were present at the Investor Summit. It's a nearly feature under the Yogi Adityanath government and it's the first after the BJP regained a power in the crucial 2022 state elections. My colleague Alok Pandey is now joining us for more details on this. And Alok, this is an annual event, but the opposition has been raising the issue that how much of the claimed investments actually have materialized on the ground and saying they've also alleged that some of the recent MOUs signed by the government are with questionable institutions. So while Mr. Yogi tries to uh, position it as an investment destination, there are several questions that are also emerging. Uh, well, you're absolutely right, uh, Priyanshi. I, I think there are two aspects to it. Uh, number one, the fact that this is a big ticket event by the Yogi Adityanath government, something that the state government showcases every year. And like we were just discussing, you know, every year the amount of investment that is promised just seems to go up and up. Now, what the opposition says is or asks is how much of this investment is actually translating on the ground. Now, the government again claims that a lot of these investment proposals that are signed in the lead up to this uh, big summit actually do reflect on the ground and they have also given us a few examples. Now, this year, uh, it was again something that was very high profile because like you said, uh, last year the Yogi Adityanath government came back to power by a big majority in Uttar Pradesh and uh, after that, uh, in the lead up to this investment summit, you had Yogi Adityanath go to cities like Delhi, to Mumbai, hold these big ticket uh, events where he addressed these industrialists, big industrialists, some of them are there at the investment summit today and his ministers actually went abroad and they held road shows there, etc. Uh, there were one or two MU, MOUs that were signed that were very contentious, for instance, one in America with a university that had dodgy credentials and the opposition did raise that. But I think the political aspect of the Prime Minister's presence there is that they feel, and it is obvious that the road to the 2024 general election will be through Uttar Pradesh with its 80 Lok Sabha seats and they want to hype this up as a big ticket event for the Yogi Adityanath government and the BJP just ahead of that election.